Hi, I'm Nick from boats.co.uk and today we're going to talk about Mediterranean mooring or stern two mooring in the marinas that are often found in the Mediterranean. So this style of parking is where the boat is moored stern two to the wharf and the bow is out to the centre. So the basic principle of that is that this, this is our wharf, this side. I'm currently standing in the fairway of the marina. And down the centre, there's a, there's a heavy chain which is anchored to the seabed, but with a series of concrete blocks usually. And off that heavy chain is a lighter chain. And off that lighter chain, there is a, a heavier rope. And off that heavier rope, there is a lighter rope, which is called the lazy line. So the basic principle of stern two mooring is the boat reverses into the space. The boat is loosely tied at the stern with its stern lines, both sides, and then somebody walks up the side of the boat, taking this line until the weight comes onto it. And as the weight comes on, the, the operator that's pulling the rope is actually lifting the first part of the chain, which is why it always feels so heavy. So that rope is then tied off onto the cleat and then walking back to the stern, we're then able to adjust the stern lines to get the boat in the absolute perfect position. So before we do this for real on a boat in the marina, I'm going to improvise by using the closest thing I've got to a boat here, which is my supermarket trolley. So this is our boat and our boat comes driving into the marina. And then we get to the position where the boat's going to park. There's usually boats either, either side, which makes it actually easier. And then we reverse in to our mooring and we pick up, using the boat hook, the stern lines. And we loosely tie the boat off, not, not to its actual position, just loosely, just so that there's, say, an extra metre of, of, um, of slack in the lines. Then we take the lazy line and we walk forwards with it along the side deck and we pull the lazy line not too tight we don't want to overwork ourselves and we tie it off just like that on the front cleat then we go back to the stern at this point the boat is moored we can switch the engines off and we can adjust the lines at the back which is actually easier than pulling the line from the front. So we'll tighten up this one first. It actually uses the weight of the boat so you can carry the momentum of the boat against the heavy chain at the front. So we just adjust our ropes. And there we have it, the boat is now moored. This is a boat moored stern two, Mediterranean style. So this has got the two aft mooring lines going up to the cleats and then the lazy line that goes to the front of the boat is here so if i keep pulling this eventually it will go tight and it will connect to the cleat at the front of the boat we're now at the bow of the boat here's the lazy line this goes back to the wall this one goes forward to the securing chain in the center of the fairway out there so this is the heavy rope so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the boat out we're going to release the boat and then we're going to come back in and do it all over again to show the whole process we're about to set off out of the mooring this boat has got set mooring lines so they're made specifically for this boat for this mooring which makes it really really easy they simply just hook on and off and you can see that these lines are nice and tight and the boat sits here perfectly. So what we're going to do to start with is release the cross lines. So with the cross lines gone, the boat will still sit here, but it will have a tendency to move slightly more than it would have done before. Then I'm going to release the top line here and I'm going to hook it on to this lower cleat which will make it much easier for me to release the bow line. So I'm just going to go forward and start the engines and then I'm going to release the bow line. 
So that's both engines running. I'm now going to release the bow line. So the bow line's off, so I'm going to release these two stern lines and the boat will still stay here because we've got a boat either side, which is quite nice. And the boat is now free and I'll now drive out with the berth. So the boat we're on today is a Targa 47. It's got Volvo D9 500 horsepower engines. It's also fitted with bow and stern thrusters. I'll only use the bow thruster just so that we get a, a, a fair comparison of how to park a boat using a bow thruster, which is what we tend to do. So I'm now going to drive away from the berth. When you leave the mooring, it's important to go quite slowly because with the propellers, we don't want to suck up those ropes that are sat on the seabed. It's much better, if possible, to drive slowly so that we don't draw them up. We also need to be aware of what the wind's doing. We've got a flag on the front of this boat that's telling me where the wind's coming from, and that's quite useful. And as we clear the mooring, we've got to be careful of the mooring lines that are coming off the boats either side, because it is possible to get hooked on those mooring lines on the way out. And it's also important to look for other traffic. So today's a quiet day, there's not many people around. So there's nothing here, so we can clear the mooring and we can start to initiate the turn. So we're going to come back into the mooring now. We're going to turn just in front of the mooring and back into the gap. We've got to be careful of the bow lines coming down on the other boats because if we get that round our propeller, it's not much fun. So I've reduced the speed of the boat and the, the sheer momentum will just take us back into the parking space so we don't actually have to do a great deal. So coming to the back of the boat, I'm going to take the, the main mooring line and I'm just going to hook it on loosely here. Switch the engines off. So all we've got to do now is the whole process in reverse. I've connected the uh, stern lines loosely on the lower cleats and now I'm going to bring the lazy line to the front. Now I've tied the bow line loosely because it's much easier to pull the boat from the back and you could also do it once the engines are switched off which means the driver can help. Let me just put the cross lines back on. There we have it, all done. Well, that's it from me today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video and um, I hope you subscribe to our boats.co.uk YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.